today I'm here with another holiday appropriate look. I'm also going to show you at the end of this video an option with a red lip of this eye makeup look. And while everybody is doing kind of a red lip and warm toned or a golden eye, which is something that I absolutely love and adore, I decided to get out of my comfort zone a little and use cool toned eyeshadow. So I never, I really rarely use um, gray toned or like cool toned eyeshadows or eye makeup looks. Anyway, um, even if I do it, always incorporate a warm toned eyeshadow with it somehow to kind of make it a little bit more warm. But today I decided to try gray toned eyeshadow smoky look and I actually ended up really, really loving it. So if you want to get out of your comfort zone or if you really like um, to wear cool toned eyeshadows and eye makeup looks and you want to see how I created this look, then just keep on watching. I am going to prime as always um, with my Smashbox 24 hour photo finish eye primer using my finger. I'm just going to apply that all over the lid to prevent the eyeshadow from creasing, to make it last longer and make more vibrant, um, look more, more vibrant. And um, because we're doing a cool toned eye, kind of grayish smoky look, I'm going to use a cool toned base. This is the Maybelline color 24 hour color. 24 hour color tattoo in um, tough as taupe. This is how it looks like and I'm going to use my finger to apply that All over the lid and this is just kind of a grayish matte grayish taupe color Not using a whole lot just a little bit to create a base So when we're, when we're done applying that, I'm going to use the first color, which is going to be kind of the base color. And it's an eyeshadow by Urban Decay. This is a sample size I have. This is a small version of it, but it's available in full size, obviously. And it's called Mushroom, which is kind of a taupe-ish um, purple shade, kind of. It has a little bit more of a purple to it. And I'm going to use a flat brush. This is the Sigma E55 flat brush. And I'm going to apply that to the center of the lid. And this is kind of the main color, which is going to be the base for the other colors to blend to, if that makes sense. Then on the inner corner, I'm going to take the um, Naked Tooth Palette by Urban Decay and um, Verve, which is this silvery gray shade. And I'm going to take that on a small flat brush and apply that to the very inner corner of the eye and then I'm going to go ahead and sweep it upwards and also drag it on top of the first color that we applied on the lid. I'm also going to take a little bit of that around the tear duct area and underneath to highlight the inner corner. And then on the outer edge, I'm going to use a darker color. I'm going to take a um, more small taper, small taper blending brush. This is E45 by Sigma. And I'm going to take the Lorac Pro Palette and Slate, which is this dark kind of gunmetal um, gray shade. And it's really pretty. It almost has kind of a sparkle to it. I've never used it before, uh, before I did this look, but it's so pretty always was intimidated by it. I'm going to apply it to the outer edge of the eye, again blend it into the first color that we have on the lid and then I'm going to slowly build it into the crease and take it all the way to the inner corner. So I'm go going to define the crease with that and make it look a little bit darker. And then on this outer edge, just sweeping it upwards. building the color and as much as needed swirling it kind of blending it outwards like this and then I'm going to take more of a precise brush this is E20 by Sigma and the same slate color is going to go under the lower lash line like so and then to smoke it out I'm going to take the same E45 brush and just blend it under here as well and just smoke it out 
Now it looks like you have pen eyes. I know. But we're going to fix that in a second. So first to blend out the outer edges of the upper shade, I'm going to take um, a lighter silver. This is Pistol from the Urban Decay Naked 2 palette. This is how it looks like. Please forgive my cheap nails. So this is it. And this is almost like a warm toned gray, silvery gray, that makes sense. So that's even possible. And I'm going to take that on an E25 blending brush by Sigma and blend out the outer edges of the color on the lid and blend it out towards the eyebrow. Also a little bit under the lower lash line. And just like this. Now I'm going to clean out this outer edge and also highlight the brow bone with a matte white shade from the Lorac Pro palette. I'm going to take white, which is this shade, and on my MAC flat brush, this is 252. I'm going to take this white shade and apply it under the brow bone to highlight. And then also underneath this outer corner. And this is just going to sharpen it and clean anything any fallouts and stuff. Now I want to darken the outer edge even more, so I'm going to take the black shade from the Lorac Pro palette and a pencil brush, 219 by MAC in this case, and I'm going to just define the outer corner of the eye with that. And take it a little bit into the crease with whatever is left on the brush after we've worked the color on the outer corner. So darken the crease a little bit more and the outer edge and then a little bit on the outer corner under the lower lash line as well. Like so. And I don't want um, to apply any liquid liner or gel liner because I want this look to be really soft and smoky. So I'm just going to take a black pencil. This is um, L O O L um, waterproof eye pencil, the Aqua Eyes by um, Makeup Forever, and I'm going to tight line a little bit on the outer corner of the eye, kind of on the other half, and then I'm also going to line my waterline with that. And then I'm going to line the upper lash line as well. I'm going to take that only from the center of the lid and then drag it outwards. And then to smoke it out, I'm going to take the pencil brush again and the black shade from the palette, from the Lorac Pro palette, and just blend it, smudge it out and smoke it out. But because I'm going to apply false lashes, I want to darken the um, upper lash line all the way into the inner corner, as you can see here, so the lashes would blend better. So for that, I'm going to take a darker black shade on a small angle, angled brush. This is E65 by Sigma. I'm going to take Blackout by Urban Decay from the Naked 2 palette, and I'm just going to line my upper lash line with that really close to the lashes and this time I'm going to go all the way to the inner corner like so and then that really darkens the lash line the base of the lash line so the false lashes would blend more easily Now to add a little bit of sparkle to all of this, as you can see um, on this eye, I'm going to take the MAC Pressed Pigment in Jet Couture, which is the black shade, and I'm just going to take a little bit on my finger and just dab that on top of all of the eyeshadows all over the lid. Just going to add a nice holiday sparkle to it. 
And now I'm just going to curl my lashes and apply some mascara. The mascara I'm going to be using is Better Than Sex um, by Too Faced. I'm going to apply that to my top and bottom lashes. And then I'm going to pop on some falsies and these are the um, Ardell 120 Demis. So on my cheeks I'm going to use the Madame Glam um, blush in Dozen Roses number 494 which looks like this which is a rosy pink color and I'm using the Sigma F40 blush brush to apply that. Applying that to my cheeks. I'm keeping the kind of cool toned theme so I'm not applying any peachy blush or anything like that. I'm going for a rosy pink. And then I'm going to highlight with the MAC Soft and Gentle Mineralized Skin Finish and my Sigma um, F35 brush. And I'm only going to highlight my cheekbones. And this is kind of a um, silvery champagne color. So it looks really pretty as well. And then for the lips, you have a choice. You either can go and keep on um, with the cool tone team and apply a cool tone lip, something like this. This is the um, ColourPop um, Liquid Lips in Trap, which is kind of a mauve grayish, yeah, a mauve, mauve gray, a grayish mauve. A grayish mauve I would go with that description. So this is what I'm going to do first and then I'm going to show you a another choice using a red lip. So this is it paired with a matte um, liquid lips by Colourpop in Trap. Um, so yeah, this is how it looks like with a cool toned lip. So this is how it looks like with a red lip on. I've used the MAC lipstick in Russian Red. This one um, definitely looks a lot more festive. So if that one is the one that you want to try out, then definitely go for it. So I hope you enjoyed this look and that you will try it out. If you will, please make sure to mention me um, on Instagram. I would love to like your photo and post it. And also all the products that I've used in this video are going to be listed down below in the description bar of this video as well as all of the social media um, websites where you can follow me and find me at. And I hope you have a wonderful holiday season and that you enjoy Christmas time with your friends and family. And I'm going to talk to you all next Saturday. Bye.